ST imaging with the uh, microfiche and microfilm. They also uh, have book scanners, which I didn't put on here now, so they have uh, some capabilities with book scanners or for older books, uh, for old records and stuff that, uh, you know, we have a lot of archives divisions that are looking to restore or take pictures of their old files. So the old files basically uh, in the books can't be bent and so on, so it's a book cradle that actually holds it and it takes a picture of the one side and a picture of the other side. And it's pretty cool technology uh, with a touch screen basically for taking the pictures and stuff. You know, I'll talk a little bit about that later. Then we have uh, Artzo, which is the data capture. And that's the side where if you're scanning an invoice or if you're in a medical office and you scan an EOB, um, it will automatically extract the line text on the page and automatically send it to the system um, and to a back-end system. Um, we also have part of uh, capture and data capture is EDI solutions. Uh, so if you're looking to receive invoices and receive documents from some of your vendors and I want to send you an invoice instead of me mailing it to you and you get it as a PDF, we can actually have a program that will extract my invoice amount, the invoice detail, all the tax amount, all the information, and it will automatically put it into your QuickBooks for you automatically. So you don't have to type it. So there's functionalities to allow streamlining of business processes and, and having things sent electronically and moving from one office to another. Also with the electronic EDI, there's uh, HL7 for medical offices in here that need to transfer files of medical records from one office to another. So the new uh, HL7 and the uh, HIPAA regulations for being able to move records in the electronic age next year are able to push it around. Um, David from the uh, Warren Lamb and Associates, he is one of our providers in that side for helping customers provide electronic EDI uh, and allowing us to integrate multiple programs together to talk and share information. So if you have databases that, uh, you know, maybe you have three databases and you have information in one database, but then you retype into another database and you retype into another database, uh, he has a solution that can say, hey, let's take the information once and replicate it into the other one and replicate it into the other one automatically without you having to retype any of it. Okay? Then we have uh, Docstar and the Eclipse, which we'll talk about. And then we'll talk about uh, Authenidate and Docstar's capability with Eclipse's new model uh, in electronic. And <coughs> iMation uh, is the uh, infinity vault in terms of uh, being able to store long-term archival. And this is uh, basically a long-term archival like a microfiche that would allow you for storing your files uh, for up to 100 years on this type of media. So it's made for long-term archival, uh, just like microfish or anything that you do in terms of long-term archival and, and storage, you just have to make sure you have a migration plan. So really, as you go and you store files, you have to keep them forever or for at least 10 or 20 years. You just need to know that, hey, that technology like CDs, then DVDs, and then Blu-ray has evolved. And you just need to have a migration plan to move it from one platform to the next. And this is kind of a long-term uh, solution that's been out there for quite some time. Not a lot of people know about it. Um, I, Imation actually, um, if you go way back, um, was the ones, if you're familiar with iOmega, the old iOmega drive that you would have on your desk. It would look like a floppy, but it was a larger than a floppy, and you could put it in and you save files to it. Um, those is Imation. Imation bought iOmega years ago, and they're the ones that had the technology. And inside this drive is an actual hard drive, ST drive or SDD drive, that basically is uh, non-erasable. It's a WORM technology, and the WORM stands for write once, read many. You can never delete or remove the file. So once it's written to the device, it, it basically lets you have access to it in retrieval, but you can never delete the file. So it's almost like a permanent microfiche or microfilm for a long-term archival. And it's basically stating here that it's a high performance, high reliability, very rugged. Um, you know, unlike regular hard drives that have a little spindle in it, and if you drop it, it'll break. These have the, you know, spindles that are um, conditioned differently. And then you have just a little bit about the worm technology um, in terms of telling you that it's a uh, legal, it's uh, e-discovery, and here for long-term storage uh, and for mass growth, um, the, the 
drives also store information not just for long-term archival, but for short-term archival. So uh, for IT people in here, you'll see that you know there's some files like Word files, Excel files, documents you always want to have access to, and you need quick access to those, so you have a quick response on the network. So what they have in this type of solution is information that stays on what's called an online portion of the drive, and one that's more of an offline archival. So when you request it, it then goes and gets it and brings it. It takes a little bit longer, but it's still there accessible versus the online is always accessible within a few seconds. So they have capabilities to keep online and offline and move information from online to offline, offline to online. Okay, here's some of the servers and systems they have in the larger capacity and, and not just the smaller ones. So it's expandable from uh, really small, uh, just you know, a couple gigabytes all the way up to now they call petabytes. Uh, it's expandable on grabbing one tier to the next tier to the next tier and it automatically expands the size and storage automatically for larger companies. Even smaller ones, I mean we see a lot of one terabyte systems now, so it just really lets you start small and then grow it all the way up and allow you to grow if you're growing with data files or any types of long art archive. The, uh, Scanning, one last thing that we do is we do a lot of backfiling for offices, so if they had a lot of boxes and they said, hey, we just need 10 or 20 boxes scanned in, or can you convert some of the microfiche we have to digital, uh, we do a lot of that. We're doing all of uh, Oak Ridge National Labs uh, converting of all their paper files to digital from last year and this year. Um, we're doing a lot of pilot corporations files, so all the uh, HR and accounting records that they have, they ship to us, we prep it, we take staples out, put sticky notes, take them, and then we scan them and save them to what categories they want to, and then their IT firm grabs it and downloads it or imports it into their document management systems. Okay.